Hey there guys, I'm Midian here, and welcome to Final Fantasy IX, the PC version. This is going to be my first time recording in quite a while, where I'm actually talking. A lot of real life stuff and other things that I'm not really, that I don't really feel like going into made me not really want to do a lot of talking recently, so yeah. I ended up doing a Final Fantasy VI series, which was just boss fights, no commentary that I thought would be kind of interesting to watch. It was definitely easy to record, but I ended up not really enjoying the way it ended up. I don't know. The reason I did that is because I like to watch a lot of Tales of um, series on YouTube where it's just them fighting the bosses, but that game's a lot more interesting to watch than just Final Fantasy turn-based stuff. And Probably more interesting to play too. Oh no. The stuff is uh coming back. I didn't even know the stuff was here. You don't need a reason to help people hurt you. It's probably true. You don't need a reason to help people. So these are what all the characters represent. Virtue, sorrow. How do you prove that you exist? Maybe we don't exist. But yeah, let's not uh get into too many gameplay spoilers before we start here. Final Fantasy IX PC, the PC version, which is a port of the mobile version of Final Fantasy IX, which is an enhanced version of the game. Uh, the graphics were upscaled a little bit to make them look slightly better. In this, the age of super realistic high definition, etc. Also added some cheats and stuff, which most of them I don't really care about. Make the game easier for you. In case you don't really want to play the game and just want to, just want to have an interactive story. So let's go. Let's watch the opening cinematic. Nobuo Uematsu, the genius behind the music in most Final Fantasy games. Very, very good. Music. I'm a big fan of this one. Chugging a little bit. Maybe my computer can't handle an upscaled PS1 game. That'd be kind of unfortunate. And here we have our main character, heading in to meet with his troop. Sure is dark. And here are the basic controls, and as you can see, in case you're uh, not familiar, B and A are confirm and cancel, which is the Japanese controls for most Final Fantasy games. And for most uh, English versions, that's switched around, but we can change that. No huge deal. Also got a menu, up, left, right, down, pause, cards, slash, moogle, cam rotation, fixed camera perspective, escape battle, auto bagel, auto bagel, and toggle help. And here's the keyboard controls. He wants to use a keyboard. That's boring. You can also use a mouse, which is actually kind of interesting. Probably is meant to simulate the uh, touch controls in the uh, the mobile version. So 
lighten the match. Getting a little bit of light up in here. This is our main character. We don't know his name yet, but I know his name. His name is Zidon Tribal, our main character. A beastkin, a thief. So let's uh, figure out what configuration settings we need. Sound, sound effects being on sounds good. Let's custom the controls. Do that. It's all I really care about, I think. Right? Yeah, that sounds good. It's all I really care about. Cursor. Initials fine. ETB wait. Battle camera auto. Skip battle camera off. I'd like to see the battle camera. Movement. Auto run, obviously. Turn up field messages up a little bit. Battle speed. Always fast. This game is really fucking slow. Keep the here icon on. It's that little arrow that goes over your head to show you where the fuck you are. Window color. Classic. Oh yeah, classic. So this disgusting, dreary gray, we get the nice classic Final Fantasy blue. I wish this was like uh, Final Fantasy VII, where you could completely customize the color of your window. So I could go with full-on rainbow. No vibration for me. Don't really need these tutorials. We've got some boosters here, in case you uh, don't want to, you know, have to deal with the game in general. And master all abilities. Go max level, max your gill. I'm not really interested. And yeah, we got we got our basic equipment here. Check our status. This is our status. This is our character. Uh. The level looks kind of weird after next. I guess it's just because it's a different font. Man, the game is really freaking chugging. I don't really know why. I might end up not, uh... Not doing anything. Or not releasing this if it, uh, continues to chug. So we got a couple couple abilities. We got Protect Girls. You take damage in place of a girl because the Don is such a gentleman. He doesn't want to see his female companions get hurt. And Flea Gill which lets you receive gill even when you run away from a battle, which is pretty useful. Especially if you're trying for, like, a low-level game or something. Level 1. Level 1 challenge. So I'll equip those. Turn off the uh, help icon. And we get some items. We got some stuff. We got some potions, some ethers. This effect decreases if used in field. Interesting. Got some ethers, which restores MP, some Phoenix Downs, which restores KO, cure status effects, got tents, we got Phoenix Pinions, which can cures KO but cannot be used in the field. Awesome stuff. Now before we uh light this candle, which is what we're supposed to do, there's actually a couple of items around here somewhere if I remember. Nothing really important, but uh can get some gill. Potion. Whoa, the chugging. The chugging is real. MS Prima Vista Theater Ship. It's a luxury liner with a theater. Weighs 8.235 thousand tons. Can hold up to 288 guests. Propulsion Veil Energy. Interesting. The shipwright, which I believe is the people that makes the ships, is Zebelt Shipyards and the Port of Registry, Lindblum. Cool. Nice little information. I don't think I've ever checked that before. It's cool enough. Cool, cool, cool. So let's all go ahead and light this candle. Press the A button where this where the question mark appears. I'm using a uh, PS3 controller, so unfortunately you can't change the prompts to show PS3 controllers because everyone uses Xbox controllers. Damn Xbox controllers, taking our jobs. Let's light the candle. Who's there? And here we get to name our character. Race, tailed human, gender male, age, 16, dominant and right. Zadon, tribal. Let's go. And here are our troop members. We got Blanc. And we've got Marcus. And we've got Chef Guy, who doesn't deserve a name. His name is Senna. Gasp. We are set upon 
by a man in a mask. Uh, hello. Holy crap, that loading time! What the fuck? I assumed the loading times would be better on the PC version. So, we get some uh, combat tutorials. I don't really care, I know how to play. So, we can steal from this. Holy shit, that chuck. Steal from this guy. What you're gonna do? Stealing in this game is slightly different than other Final Fantasies. They can have multiple items to be stolen in different slots. This guy, you can steal three things from, and you can just keep on stealing until you get all the things that you want. So his rarest steal is a Mage Masher Dagger, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep stealing until I steal all that. This guy's weak sauce. Can't really do anything. Oh, we got the Mage Masher, so now we can just kill him. Easy enough. Senna does next to no damage, because he's just using a little baby hammer. But everyone else does pretty decent damage. Almost double Senna's, as you can plainly see. Boop. But Senna has the best animation. Did he just do four damage? Like, he jumps up and whacks him in the head with his hammer. What a guy. And Legasp, it is the leader of our troop, trying to test our skittles before our mission. Hey, fools! Oh, that was a terrible voice. You're looking a lot better! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's give him that voice. All right, let's start this meeting already. Give him a kind of, kind of a gruff voice. Jesus, this chug. I don't know if I can deal with this. Here's the plan. Tantalus, the infamous band of daring thieves, is us. Is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission: to kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. I'll take it from here, so listen up. Oh, his face. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria, and when it does, we're gonna put on our costumes and perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. Leave the acting to me. Of course, the real kidnappers will be me, Blank and Zidane. I'll distract the audience from backstage with these little buggers. I can't stand on lops. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cue, Zidane. Okay, that's when I kidnap Queen Brown, right? You bet, you're gonna kidnap the fat-ass butt ugly Queen Brown. Wait, what are you saying? Oh, uh, sorry, that's, uh, that's when I kidnap Princess Garnet, right? You bet, you're gonna kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet. My voices are blending together. I'm terrible at voices. Some more movies showing up. I don't know what I can do to make this chug less. I have like almost everything turned off. Oh, it's not like the chugging matters too much. It's a turn based game. I might not, might end up not doing anything with this if I can't get it to record without it chugging. It played fine when I wasn't recording. I'll end up, pa I'll pause and try to turn off some background programs. One second. Let's uh, go close that. Close that. I have almost everything closed. So now all I have open is OBS and the game and Steam, so maybe that'll help a little bit. So the game has had some enhancements done to the graphics to make it look better, but not all of it 
has been enhanced graphics wise. Like some of the stuff over there was quite obviously very blurry and not very pleasant to look at. Which is fine. I mean it's it's a game. You can't expect perfect graphics from everything. Are you alright? Hello? Oh, I, I don't have the window in like thing, so I wasn't doing anything. The window in the front. Here, you dropped your ticket. Bye bye. What a nice little girl. So here we are. We are now playing as this character, who we also don't know the name of yet, but I know the name, so I'll tell you all about him. He is Vivi Ornetier. I think his last name's Ornetier. So, we got a wrist from that last fight, so might as well equip it. Why not? We get some evade and some magic evasion from that. It's cool, cool stuff. We also got the Mage Masher, which we can't equip to Vivi. It's a dagger, not a staff. So, Vivi is your stereotypical black mage, as you can tell from his attire. A lot of this game is like a love letter to old Final Fantasies. It's very, uh, got that old school feel. So let's see if he has any uh, abilities to be equipped right now. I don't think he does. No. He can't equip any abilities just yet. But he can use fire, which is a very nice black mage spell. Check out his stats. He's got good magic, as you would expect from a black mage. And let's go. There are a lot of random items strewn about Alexandria that I'm going to try to collect. I might not be able to get all of them. But thankfully, this game has given you, like, exclamation marks when you can do stuff, so we can talk to this guy. Nobles always come to Alexandria to see the annual performance. What a cool dude. Talk to some random people. Why, you're no city child and you aren't a noble child either. I screw you. So these exclamation points make it really easy to find random items. I don't think this was in the original version of the game. Maybe wrong. Maybe mistaken. We got a zombie card, which is for this game's uh, little card game mini game. Triple triad. Is it triple triad? No, I think triple triad is um eight. What's this one called? Uh, I don't remember. Whatever. I'm sure I'll learn about it later. But this city has tons of random items just like strewn about that you can get. Some of them useful, most of them not really that useful. Get some random cards. Unlike Final Fantasy VIII, you can't like turn cards into useful like gameplay stuff. It's just a fun little card game to play in your off time if you feel like it. Grab all the random crap, get some potions. Ow. Where the hell did you come from? Why you? Get out of my way! Screw you, rat kid. I gotta go get some items. Hello, what are you doing? Ooh, just a little longer. Darling, I'm home. I'm not done with Ilya's dress yet. Come back later. <laughs> Every year it's always the same. You're spoiling them grandkids, I say. So she's making a dress. That's very kind of her. What is here? This pattern is making me dizzy. Oh no, if I fall. Dang it, Vivi. Fall? It's just a pattern. Found Grandma's savings of nine gill. Aw, I, I stole her nine gill. I'm a terrible, terrible person. Get another potion, loot all the things. Traditional RPG stuff. Enter houses, take all their shit. We have in here a fang card, more cards for the card game that I'm probably not going to play very much. That's not fair. It's a fun, it's a fun little distraction. Anything else around here that I can get? And what do we have here? Another potion. Potions are good. So he's going to go see the play. That's probably what our ticket's for. The play that uh, Zidane and his troop are going to perform. I saw an exclamation point here. Maybe that was just the little kid that was running by. Honorable nobles of Trino, Castle Alexandria is this way. 
That is not what a trumpet sounds like. Maybe it's not supposed to be a trumpet. Get some more stuff on the ground over here. More gill! So, the graphics have been upscaled, like, to the point where it looks fine. The game looks fine. Doesn't look amazing, but it looks fine. I'm sure it would look even better if it was on a uh, smaller screen, like a uh, phone, but... I don't actually have the mobile version of the game. This is my first time playing this particular version. If it's anything like Final Fantasy VI's uh, mobile version, I'm sure I'll end up finding... or Steam version, I'm sure I'm, I'll end up finding some random glitch that nobody else knows about. Goblin card? Hello. Wow, novels are so spiffy. This man is a hippo. What a guy. Hello, lady. Oh, you're not a lady. You're a potion. But you're a lady. I got to get back to work. Okay. Sorry to bug you. What do we got up here? Flan card. Oh, boy. Is that a... Is that goblet floating in midair? That one right there. The one right next to me. Looks like it's floating in midair. Maybe it's like on the ground next to the, next to the chair. Huh. Weird. 27 gil! That little amount of gil might add up. We'll show be busy tonight. This guy's name is Ashley. It's not a very good guy's name. It's a very feminine name. Here is my favorite character. I don't know why I'm depressed. I have a ticket to see a great show. I should be happy. That is a very poignant statement about depression. He feels like he should be happy, but he is not. There's a letter on the door. Sure, let's read it. Goodbye, Alexandria. It's been three years since I moved here from Trino. I started a new business here, filled with hope. But the people of the city didn't accept me. Why? Why can't I sell any Oglop goodies, goodies in Alexandria? Alexandria is still a hick town. Maybe my business is too hip for this place. I'm moving to Lindblom. In Lindblom, my dreams will become reality. Huh. Well, good luck with your, uh, your business elsewhere, random person. I'm sure it'll be fine. Pigeon. What's this pigeon doing? Okay, that flying animation wasn't very weird or anything. I want to see if there's like an item I'm missing, but I keep hitting the zone changes. If I miss some of these items, it doesn't matter. There's nothing like important, but it's all fun to get a uh, to get items. Wow, how'd you get a ticket for the show? Better head straight to the ticket booth in the square. You have to get your tickets ticket stamped there before you can enter the castle. Why? Whatever. I've never been to a show before, so maybe this is like standard practice the world over. Hello. So this is the item shop. You can buy some stuff. We don't really have a lot of money to buy some stuff, and we've already got a decent amount of like stuff. I had 14 potions. Two Phoenix Downs. Yeah, we don't need to buy anything here. Let's just uh, steal the shopkeeper's money before we leave. Anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. Final Fantasy IX is amazing music. So good. Hello, Hippo Kid. Ooh, he hid his three precious cards in a safe place. I wonder where I can get those cards. Let's go talk to the ticket guy. Can I help you, son? So we can uh, get some information. Let's get some information. Information's fun. This year's performance is the masterpiece I want to be your canary. The Tantalus Company is performing. Their star performers from Lindeblum, the Regency to the West, with accompaniment by Lav Ladders. This play is a tale of romance between a noble and a peasant. You really must see it. The Kingdom of Alexandria is a fine country ruled by Queen Bran. 
Did you know Queen Braun has a beautiful daughter, Princess Garnet? Tell me about the Queen, damn it! Unfortunately, I've heard strange things about Queen Braun recently. It doesn't tell me anything! You're not giving me any information, man! Today is Princess Garnet's 16th birthday, you know. Wow, good for her. What's she about? What's she like? What are her dreams, her ideals, her ambitions? Her Highness is a beautiful princess, and everyone in Alexandria loves her. She really that pretty? Why, she's the most beautiful princess in the history of Alexandria. Well, good for her. I guess we're not getting any, like, interesting information. Here's her ticket. Let's go to the show. I want to see the show. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake! I've seen so many today. No. Now, now, don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Do try to cheer up now. Yeah, he gave us some trading cards. What a nice guy. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn more about cards. Good luck, lad. Well, guess we can't see the show. Our ticket is fake. That sucks. I'm just gonna talk to some random people, I guess. Yeah, they are, per they are pretty pretty. Yep, flowers are nice. Flowers are cool. What do you have to say? I want a flower. I want to buy a flower for one gill. Give me, give me a flower. Why, why can't I buy my flower? I want my flower! Rude lady. Promises flowers for sale but then refuses to sell them to me. The three heroic knights of Pluto. The statue was built to commemorate the three knights who fought bravely in the 15th Lindbergh War in 1601. Cool. So it hasn't really been explained yet, but most of the military in Alexandria are the... I don't remember the name of them, but the female division is the primary division of the Knights of Alexandria. And the Knights of Pluto are usually, like, uh, the ones that aren't really respected as much, I shall say. The men are the Pluto Knights, the women are the... I don't, I don't remember the name of them at the moment, but the women are the good ones. The men are, like, lazy, incompetent, etc. Married for 30 years, worked our rear heads off, and finally we can afford a ticket to the show! I'm so happy. My ticket was fake. That makes me sad. Do I blink? I thought I saw myself blink there for a second. I'm gonna stare at my face for a little bit here. Maybe not. Maybe no blinking. So, the synthesis shop and the weapon shop don't sell us anything because they gotta go see the show soon! Which sword to buy? I wish I had a little more money. I think there was something there. I'm gonna go check real quick. We are always looking for recruits for the Knights of Pluto in Alexandria Castle. Come, all you brave young men. Let us protect the Queen and our beautiful country together, Captain. Cool. Maybe we can become a knight of Pluto. Wouldn't that be fun? What are the names of the female ones? There's some like right here. I'm gonna go talk to them and see if they like shows their name. No, it just says Alexandrian soldier. They have a name. I just don't remember what it is. A Phoenix pinion. Those are nice. Hmm. I wonder where his three precious cards are. What a mystery. We must find them. So here's a fun little minigame. Final Fantasy, the PS1 ones, added a lot of really, really annoying minigames. So I'll try this one for a little bit. This is a jump rope minigame. Jump, jump. You just gotta time it to the beat. And it eventually gets faster. This is, uh, really difficult when the fucking frame rate's skipping around. I believe the 
best reward you get is from a thousand jump ropes. I have never, ever been able to do that. <laughs> ever. But I'll try. I'll give it like one try. I got a cactar. Yeah, the frame rate's kind of not making this easy on me. Gonna try and get quiet here. Gotta concentrate. Yeah, I fell. God damn it. 104, not terrible, I guess. I got an achievement for getting 100 on my first time, like, playing through. What do you mean there's no vacancies? Yes, you see, you're really quite sorry. What? I don't believe this. I have a reservation, damn it! Jeez! Yikes. City people are so scary. Sorry, no vacancies today. Oh, that's that's unfortunate for me. Ah, oh, there's a person here. A little lady hippo. Cool. Anything around here for me to like grab? I don't know if I can. Ah, oh, lady hippo. Get out of the way, lady hippo. I need to look for loot. I need to steal stuff. It's like my job as a JRPG protagonist. You go into people's houses, you steal some shit. It's a little, a little dry. Ah, uh, I'm still disappointed that we can't see the show, man. It's supposed to be a good show. I want to go see it. No, let's go see what's over here in this alley. Maybe we'll find that alleyway jack that the that uh the guy was talking about. Lashed it. I, you made me miss you, little klutz. I didn't do nothing. Ooh, that should do it. Well, it's been a long day. That guy looks like a dog. A lot of animal people. Hey, you, shrimp! You're the one with the phony ticket, ain't ya? I saw the guy tell you it was fake. Yeah, it's fake. I'll let you see the show if you become my slave. Well, what do you say? I don't really want to be this kid's slave, but I do really want to see that show, so let's do it. Awesome. Now, for your first assignment, you go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. Yeah, it's clear. Awesome. Engage according to mission parameters. Operation Steal This Ladder! Ha ha ha! Hello. Um, excuse me, but is your name Alleyway Jack? Huh, how did you know my name? Do you know who I am? You probably want to challenge me to a card game, huh? What? You don't know how to play. You want me to teach you. Well, why not? I finished one job already. Follow me, kid. So this guy gives you a nice little tutorial on card games. I don't really want to deal with this tutorial. I don't... I'm not a huge fan of the card game in this game. I'm not a huge fan of the card game in 8 either, but... At least that one has, like, a purpose. For, like... You can, like, change the cards that you win into, like... Magic and shit. And this one, I don't know. I don't care enough to do it. It's another one of those minigames. They shoved a ton of minigames into the PS1 Final Fantasies, and most of them are just, like, annoying. Over here. Don't fall behind! Into the steeple! Ooh, haha! -ha. That little girl left her house, so now I'm going to go into the house, come up here, and steal her shit! Haha! -ha. Three gill! Haha, ha, it's mine. You can't stop me, little girl. What else is over here? Some eye drops, cool. There's a way back there. So 
that door. Maybe not. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I stole that little girl's life savings. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be here. Hey kid, don't even think about trying to sneak into the castle by boat. I tried that last year, but them guards, they caught me lick it a split. <laughs> yeah, good to know. I wasn't planning on doing that anyways. Them newfangled mist-powered ships float through the air, but true ships are supposed to float on water, right, Shani? Yeah, whatever you say, I think airships are cool. They fly and stuff, they're awesome. My kitten mittens run away. Tell me if you see him, okay? Sure. I'll try and find your cat. Sounds like fun. So, let's go in here. Now we're gonna climb up this tower. It's very dangerous. You go first. Okay? First I wanna grab some stuff. There's stuff around here, right? Yeah! Get a potion. Anything else around here? Any other items? Yeah! Tent! It's like a potion, but better sometimes. Ow. Ha ha ha, what the heck was that? Sorry about that, Koopo. That's Koopo. He's a Moogle. Koopo. And this is slave number one. Try and get along, okay? Koopo, pleased to meet you. I ain't sorry I enter you in Moogle Diary. If you want to save game on the save folder, just ask us Moogles, Koopo. And you can regain health if you have a tent, Koopo. You understand? Yeah. Glad I can help, Koopo. Alright, time for some upward mobility. Climbing up the ladder with another ladder. Ladderception. Okay, come on up, slave. Koopo, you here? Koopo, stiltskin. Why that get up? You leaving, Koopo? Yeah, and this time I might be away for a long time. I'll miss you, Koopo. Now, don't you worry, alright. Okay, Koopo. Well, I'm off. Take care. Oh, and say hi to Mosh in the castle for me. Was that a friend of yours? Yes, Koopo, a very special one, Koopo. Hey, slave, I thought I ordered you up here. So, at Moogles, we can access, we can save the game, obviously, we can use intent, or we can use Magnet! Just like mail between Koopos, we can read their mail. Magnet is a mail delivery system between Moogles. We can send and receive letters to and from Moogles in other locations, Koopo. But delivery has been very sporadic lately, so I want you to help us deliver mail, Koopo. Sure, why not? I have a favor to ask, Koopo. I want you to deliver a letter to Monty. Okay. Thanks, Koopo. So, now we have a letter from Koopo to Monty. We, f we find the Moogle Monty. We give him the letter. And we get rewards. So let's save the game, Koopo. Let's save, Koopo! So let's go ahead and do it for today's episode. Oh, and this game has ten slots which I initially thought was kind of a low amount. Final Fantasy VI's PC version only had five save points, and I was like, okay, it's got double the save points, it's fine. Then you open the slot, and you get 15 files per slot! Holy crap, that's 150 save files. It's still less than infinite, which is what I would uh, appreciate to have. But, beggars can't be choosers. This is my save file from when I just playing around, derping around, seeing how it looked. The game looks fine. Let's overwrite it. Wasn't really doing anything with that file anyways. I think I got more gill this time. Must have missed a few spawns last time. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.